NFL Sunday Ticket is now on YouTube and YouTube TV, which means that you can stay close to your team even if you don't live in their town. Like, maybe you're a Raven who married a Seahawk who got a job in the land of the Falcons. With NFL Sunday Ticket, you can watch your team's out-of-market Sunday afternoon games no matter where you live because you shouldn't have to change teams even if you change towns. NFL Sunday Ticket, now on YouTube and YouTube TV. Go to youtube.com slash presale to get $50 off. Terms and embargoes apply. Offer ends 919. No refund. Subscription auto renews. This is the House of Hockey podcast on the Hockey Podcast Network. Hockey is more than a game. It's a lifestyle. It's you, the diehard supportive fans, your favorite players who are on the team you cheer for and the organization who supports them. The companies that make your gear, bags, and beer league sweaters, the hockey moms and hockey dads, and everything else that makes this house of hockey your home. Come on in. I'm Breezy. And I'm Ray Ray. And And this this is is our house. house. Meat Church Barbecue. Who's Meat Church Barbecue? Um, he makes um he's really, really popular. Um uh, his name's Matt. He does barbecue, he has the seasonings, he kind of does like barbecue classes. He's got a thing down in Texas, like a a brick and mortar kind of store where you can go in. He's worked with Traeger, he's worked with oh, celebrities, wow. like he cooks for like Miranda Lambert um thomas rett like he he goes and cooks for all these people which is is super cool he's got good seasoning so i like it and i I like his recipes too so but it's a little overcast today and i'm going to my friend's house right after this and then my other friend's house because we're gonna watch the Bengals game because i love (laughs) joe burrow obviously and i was like well it's a little cold and i'm gonna be wearing my joe burrow jersey so i was like i'm gonna put a long sleeve on (laughs) to put my my burrow jersey over but i didn't feel like it was appropriate for me to wear my burrow jersey on our podcast today because it's two different sports yeah i think it would have been okay yeah, you rock the baseball been. stuff. That's true. I should just put it on for good luck. Well, I don't know anything about that, and we know you are very superstitious. So I am very superstitious. I'm gonna I let even you wore, make that decision. Yeah, I uh, used a orange golf ball last week in honor for Joe uh, the next day. So I'm like, I'm I'm just eyeballing my jersey over there. <laughs> well, welcome to the episode. Yeah, I'm gonna episode, leave all that uh, in. One thirty six. And what do we got? Who are you? Oh, my name's Breezy. <laughs> I feel like they know this by now. <laughs> I mean, Chicklet still does it and everybody knows who they are, but still That's like true. new listeners, new voices. That's true. I'm your other host, Ray Ray. It's all part of the She's branding. She's the professional one. I am not the professional one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's been a hell you of a week it. for me. Yeah, me too. You got a a pretty good compliment from one of our listeners. Um, I did? They said, yeah, they said that your voice is very, um, like, infomercial-y, which is very soothing. Huh. So you have a very soothing voice. But not like they fell asleep? Like, should I be doing ASMR videos? Well, you probably could because it would be (laughs) fantastic, but... Uh, they said that it was very soothing and it just felt very calming to listen. Good. But luckily for them, it wasn't an episode where you were going off on the Blackhawks. So I was going to say, they <laughs> tuned into an episode where I must not have been too heated about a topic. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. girl, let me tell you, you camp and like you do camping and like I RV do. stuff. Mm-hmm. I do not. No. <laughs> and I never have, and I don't ever plan on it. And we lost power because we had a huge storm here this week. Two days, no running water, no flushing toilets, no heat, no electricity. I was like not having it. I had to go find power. I had to go to my friend's house and take a shower and do work. And I learned how to start a fire, but with like uh, those dur dur flame logs, because like we couldn't get the little dur flame sticks to work because they're so old and they wouldn't catch mm-hmm. fire, and we uh... were too cold to like get up and go mess with the fire because it was so cold. <laughs> it was a wreck. And then 
so that happened. And then I got sick. And then last night I watched this show on Netflix from scratch. Don't watch it. If you don't want to cry your eyes out for two hours, I have been icing my face all morning long to depuff my eyes. I cried for two hours on two episodes. It was so sad. I don't know what was wrong with me. I'm not usually that person, but it just hit a nerve. I I'm I'm a wreck. So I'm a, apolog- apologies for the way my voice sounds today because it's not great. So that's hey, been my it's, week. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I hope yours is a little bit better. It was, yeah. We got some good news, um, and uh, that's it. Okay, and you're just gonna let all of us, yeah, like, want to like know what the good, good news is. No, it's personal good news, uh, but okay. everything's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's. Horrible. I'll tell you after. I'll tell you later. Horrible. <laughs> that's horrible. Everybody wants to know now. No, that's all good. All right. No one cares. Well. Yes, they do. They care <laughs> no, about us. Fine. Yeah, they do. Um, they do. But this is uh, this is off hockey kind podcast. of stuff. All yeah. right. And this is a hockey podcast. But all is yeah. good. That's all that matters. Okay, good. Well, good for good yeah. news. I'm yeah, glad you had a news. better week than I did. Well, no, actually, I was in pain for like three days straight because I went for a jog on a very, very cold <laughs> night and I got shin splints. So <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I mean, kudos a- for like the jogging part, but well, also there's like wild animals, like bears and mountain lions and stuff that are close by. So I had to bring my knife with me. So I was like jogging also with a knife in my hand. The knife wasn't open. Like I had to open it right. if I was an injured, but um, yeah, it was like nine o'clock at night and I decided to go because I had a lot of energy for some reason. Sometimes I get like that. Um, it was very cold. It was like 40 degrees out, so I probably shouldn't have done that. And then like there was like a car that was like going by really slow. And I think that they thought that I was like a mass murderer in the neighborhood because I had like a knife in my hand. Like a hoodie on, all in yeah. black, probably. Not no, I had my, my here. No, I had a Preds windbreaker on, so it was like oh very... gold and white. So it was good. Good, good. All right. Yeah. I don't know. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That you didn't think that's where this episode was going. <laughs> no, we never know where it's going. Let's no. kick it off with your new favorite team to watch. Yeah, the Seattle Kraken. They are so fun. I love them. Why? Why are they so fun? What is so fun? It's just, they just have it going for them. I think they're they're fast paced. They make really, really solid passes, really good plays. Uh, the crowd is into it. Those jerseys are so sick. Um, and they just score really cool goals. I'm having a lot of t- like fun watching them. And I, I was watching, I was like, dang, I think this is the coolest thing about what we do is like making hockey t- content, right? Like we can watch other teams play and not get mad at their <laughs> like success <laughs> to a certain yes, extent for the most part. Yeah. Um, and then I saw obviously, because I'm talking about the Kraken a lot now, uh, a lot of their stuff's coming on like my Instagram, my TikTok and whatnot. And they have this commercial. I put it in our shared drive for you I to watch. I saw it. It oh. is hilarious. It's it really so good. Funny. It is so funny. It's Jamie the Lesiak. Local... He, yeah, he gets like really. put into uh, like the penalty box and a fan is like on the glass and pounding and he's mad. And like the next thing, like it cuts to like them in like a jail cell kind of where like they're like speaking on phones between each other. And he's like, you didn't deserve this. And Jamie Alessia acts like, I probably did. And then he's like, okay, we'll be strong. And then it goes back and like the fan has his hand on the glass and it's like live in the game. And he's just like, oh, oh, <laughs> it's like it's funny. So a lottery commercial. Kind of, yeah. Scratch? I, I don't know. I don't know, but it was something about like having glass seats, um, which was, it's, it's really funny. I probably, yeah, we probably should have done more research on what the actual commercial was, but I was just laughing at the, uh, the commercial itself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I saved it. Somebody else that could back you up on that is Nick Olchek, who is one of the broadcasters there, who he is just like, everything he posts like about like before pregame and stuff, he's like, this 
fan base is electric. I love covering they these are. games and and I I mean I don't really remember him saying anything like that like when he was briefly doing coverage with the Blackhawks on his social but you know different team, different city, whatever but yeah. Uh, yeah, where's our Seattle Kraken fans at? Let's holler at us. Tell us Please what do. what it is. Chime in. We want to know what's the secret I mean, sauce out there. Yeah, I mean, we had Piper Shaw on a mm-hmm. few episodes back. Well, a lot of episodes back at this point. Um, but she was like pretty hyped on it too. But like, I think it was at the point where it's like they weren't doing super well. Yeah. Uh, and this season they're coming out pretty strong. So uh, they're fun. They're fun to watch. Um, before we go into the next like topic, I wanted to just like, I, we haven't done a little check in on the standings. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to just do a quick little like, yes Where's let's please do at? that let's please do oh, that okay yes uh-oh yeah, why yeah. do you say it like that oh god in I'll the let east, you see it in the metro we have the carolina hurricanes followed by the new jersey devils still they're holding strong on freaking believable uh and the new york rangers i'm just going to do the top three in the atlantic we have boston still holding strong in the first first place of the atlantic followed by the maple leafs who've finally got their groove and the tampa bay lighting uh down in the west we have dallas in first which is like really how long are they going to stay there somebody please get them out of there the winnipeg jets have made a resurgence and are in second followed by my like step team the minnesota wild (laughs) because i love them and i shouldn't but I do. I love everything that's happening there. You should. They're um, the big bad wild. They are. Um, yeah. I see why you were making a face in the yeah, Pacific. Let's do, it. let's do the it. Seattle Kraken are in the first place of the Pacific. Didn't think that was going to be the case this season, followed by the Vegas Golden Knights and Breezy's Los Angeles Kings. Yeah. If the Kings would have won last night, which was Saturday, uh, they probably would still be in first place. They were in first before yesterday. Um, but they unfortunately lost. They were one point ahead of both Seattle and Vegas. So it's a tight a, race a there. Pointer. Super tight race. And Edmonton's really not good. far behind. They're with they have 60 points. So they're only two points back. So yeah. Okay, wait. We have to talk about Edmonton. Uh, just because we we're right do. here. Mm-hmm. First of all, it's like just pouring salt in an open wound for me they were playing the chicago blackhawks last night or the blackhawks were in edmonton and of course they annihilated the blackhawks which is obvious and to really just like rub that salt in they decided in the last two minutes of the game to put their e-bug in their emergency backup goalie and just like give this guy a moment to shine because they knew they were not going to lose against my Chicago Blackhawks. And like the announcer is even like, this is the right move to do. It was like, it was like going to a little kid's soccer game when they're like five years old and you just put the worst players in at the end because it doesn't matter. And like, you know, the other, like you're going to win. So you just like put the fifth string in. That's how it felt. And they verbalized it. And I just didn't think that was very nice to say, but it's because I'm a sensitive Sally apparently right now. And they put the e-bug in, which I support. And I think that's cool, but they just like didn't have to rub it in. So his name is, I wrote it down because I knew I was going to forget, Matt Berlin. Mm-hmm. And he's an Edmonton local. He practices with the team and he got the call to come to the game that he might have to dress. And then before he got there, they were like, no, no, you have to dress. And he was on the bench the whole game as the backup fully dressed and ready to go. And he thought they were joking when the coach was like, yeah, at like four minutes towards the end of the game, they were like, get ready. You're going to, you're going in. He was like, yeah, right. And they were like, we don't joke about this. You're going in. And he made one save against my team. Good for him. But I mean, I love these moments. It's just, it's hard for me to be like super happy in this, in this particular case, but. Yeah, I watched an interview he did, and he said that he uh, was studying for his psychology midterm <laughs> that's on Monday at 4.30, and he got the call that he had to go, and he's like, I, I guess we're doing this. So 
Um, kudos to him. I hope he does really good on his midterm. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he did really well in the in the NHL for two minutes. So, yeah. you know, congrats to Matt. Uh, that's a really cool moment. This week's episode of the House of Hockey podcast is brought to you by NBA fans. It's time to bring the hoops action to the palm of your hand with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. This week, new customers can bet $5 and win $200 in free bets instantly. Plus, for a limited time, all new and existing customers can get a no sweat same game parlay every day. Go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app today opt in and place a seam game parlay on any NBA game. And if it doesn't hit, you'll get a free bet back. Why wouldn't you sign up right now and start your seam game parlay with the NBA? Download the app now and sign up with the code THPN. That's THPN for the Hockey Podcast Network. New customers can bet $5 on the NBA and get $200 in free bets instantly only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA with code THPN. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void in Ohio. See show notes for details. This time of year, everyone's talking about making big changes, which is, you know, all well and good, but most of the time, pretty unrealistic. That's why, I mean, I don't even participate in New Year's resolutions because they end up just fading away. And I've actually found that the smallest changes to your routine can actually make the biggest impact in the same way that you don't have to break the bank to make a big deal purchase. I mean, even the smallest things can be a part of a big change if it's something you use every day, like like my Raycons. Raycon is premium audio at the perfect price point, so you can build great habits without breaking the bank. Like I use mine when I do my meditation, which is something I've started doing again in the new year, and it's great. It cancels out all the noise. And whether you're looking for a pair of everyday earbuds, low latency gaming headphones, or a speaker with a battery that will last all night at your next party, Raycons got you covered. And yep, Raycons start at half the price of other premium audio brands. So you don't even have to choose between products. You can get one of each or a pair and a spare because, you know, we lose things and still pay less than you would with some of the other guys. Even if you know you'll love your Raycons as much as I do, Raycon wants to make sure you feel great about your purchase. They offer buy now, pay later options, and every purchase has an easy and free return guarantee. One of the things I love about my Raycons are the noise isolation feature. That's super important uh, in a house with lots of animals and action happening. And then also the crystal clear call quality when I am on conference calls and when I record the podcast is awesome. I can hear breezy perfectly. And they're water and sweat resistant, which is super important when it starts to get warm or if you're doing a workout. Um, Gotta love that. Ready to buy something small with a big impact? Go to buyraycon.com slash THPN today to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash THPN to score 15% off. Buyraycon.com slash THPN. all-star more all-star updates yeah listen listen i love i got i got some opinions here okay so we're gonna talk about as always (laughs) shocking the (laughs) all-star skills competition uh they've released or have shared with us some of the like special games they're doing which they've started doing more over the years they did that in vegas where they had like playing cards and they were in the middle of the bellagio fountain but Here's the issue I have. I'm I'm cool with all the fun, like cool stuff, but mm-hmm. the rules are so complicated. <laughs> I don't even understand what it means. Like, why does it have to be so complicated? Why can't it just be like closest to the pin? You know, like, let's just like keep it simple. But the rules, if you try to read this, I'm going to read you one of these. The Enterprise sponsor, NHL Splash Shot is going to be on the beach of Fort Lauderdale. It features eight players divided into four teams of two. What? You lost me there. 
Players are required to hit all the targets before attempting to dunk their opponents, the winner being the one to dunk his or her opponent first. What? That's a lot. That's what? A lot. Just like, why can't we just shoot the puck to try to dunk the player? I don't even know what that means. Is somebody sitting in a dunk tank? Like, uh, this, it's too complicated. This is this is why people are like tuning out because they're and the players, I guarantee you, are going to be confused and be like, who goes? What am I doing? What's what's happening? Because it happened in Vegas. So I've got a bone to pick with the the complexity of this stuff when it doesn't have to be that complicated. Like most shots, it's already cool that they're on the beach. True. Leave it at that. Just like, yeah, just leave it at that. Like the most person who gets the most shots in, in 30 seconds, like simple. Why is this so hard? I don't know. Okay. Well, we have like three paragraphs worth of all of that nonsense. So rather than reading all three paragraphs, uh, the three new events are the Enterprise Splash Shot, uh, which is on the beach in Fort Lauderdale, Uh, the Chipotle Pitch and Puck. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to go on on with that one. And the Discover NHL Tendi Tandem. Yeah. Yeah. So the NHL Tendy Tandem is the the third one, which is going to be cool because NHL Hall of Famer Robert yes. Luongo is going to par- participate in the Celebrity Goaltender in the Breakaway Challenge, which is going to be good to see him. Uh, we also have five women's hockey players that are going to be joining the uh, Skills Comp, which is Alex Carpenter and my girl Hillary Knight from the U.S. and Emily Clark, Rebecca Johnson, and Sarah Nurse from Canada. I'm stoked. Good. I'm stoked that they're okay. bringing more of the girls in. Absolutely. I guess we'll keep it over on the East. We got another topic here. Yeah. The Stadium uh, well, Series jerseys. Yes. The last thing I wanted to say, again, these rules are so confusing. I don't even know what this Tendi tandem is. I like read it twice and I still don't totally understand. I think the goalies are taking shots, which is cool. But that doesn't, if that's what it is, cool, but I can't tell because the description is so goddamn complicated. I don't know what is happening. All we need is like, like, it's like teams and like the goalies are shooting against other goalies, but then three points and two points and that's, that's too much. Listen, I'm tuning in for the women. I can't wait to see what they do because they're just so badass and they end up showing up a lot of the guys, which... I'm here for and we need the publicity because also happening is the PHA the one of the women professional women's hockey uh their all-star tournament is going on right now which Mm -hmm. doesn't involve any of the women we just mentioned because they're part of a different organization um but lots of exciting hockey action happening uh well you would have I think it's happening tonight on Sunday while we're recording. So you would have had missed it, but I'm sure you can catch a replay. Um, They're airing it on ESPN too. And I think TSN in Canada. Um, So women's all-star sports are also making the headlines and, and they're doing stuff like that too. So go cheer on the girls. And now we can move on to the East. Yes. Caps in uh, hurricane stadium series jerseys were revealed. At first I was like, the Canes jersey looks the same, but it's sick. Don't get me wrong. I do like it. But the Caps jersey, I love it. I love and... both of these. Okay. <laughs> I was letting you react first. Yeah, I think that they're both really cool. I th- I mean, I don't know what else you can do for the Hurricanes jersey. I think I was expecting something else, but I don't know what else that would be. But I love the colors, and I love the way that, the, that they look. Um, and the Caps jersey is just so sick i love it i love both of them the flying w eagle is very cool and it's like super americana yeah yeah i like it and the canes is cool i like the simplicity of the colors like they didn't do Mm -hmm. try to make it so complicated and i like it looks really sharp Um, yeah it looks really sharp both of them do and you guys Mm -hmm. know i'm not big on this like making these like alternate jerseys because usually i dislike most of what they do but these are these are pretty cool these are good i love them they look great yeah there's great. all kinds of notes explaining the uh design 
But I do think that it's cool because having the bigger logos like that in the in a stadium, I think is super important. And you can really mm-hmm. see, you'll be able to see it better, right? Than like yeah. when they're a little smaller to have them more color blocked like that. I think it's going to look really cool uh, mm-hmm. on the ice in the in the outdoor arena. So that's and coming up. Like when is that game? It's going to be on the 18th, Next. February 18th. Okay. Um, which is crazy because like I went to the stadium series last year. I know. It's crazy that it's been a year. Uh, but one more thing about these jerseys, I think it's cool that you're going to be able to like really tell them apart. And I know that sounds weird, but like at the Preds and Lightning Stadium series, like you obviously can tell them apart, but they were the same colors to a certain extent, mm. right? Like the blues were there um, and the white, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know why I'm saying this, but like to me, it was just like they were too like similar, I guess. Where like these, they they look different. Like you can easily tell whose is whose. Yeah, yeah. They made it more get paid on that because that makes no sense. But it made no, sense. No, I know what you mean. <laughs> no, because like if you have too many of the same colors, which they do, like they both have the red in theirs. Mm-hmm. Like if if they it it could go wrong if the canes had added white in there it could start mm-hmm. to look kind of similar and then your brain just doesn't recognize because they're trying to be right. fancy with all this like merch sales and try to make these cool things and then it kind of gets lost i think they've missed the mark a few times but yeah. these work because they've got the solid black core mm-hmm. for the canes which i think is really sharp because yeah. like black is always sexy and red also sexy yeah. So like it works and then the other the, the caps jersey is more white based and then that giant w eagle spread eagle is pretty cool. <laughs> it's it's sick. I can't wait. I I'm pretty sure our friend uh, RJ the Florida Caniac is is definitely going to swoop up one of those jerseys. You better. Well, I know which I know which jersey he's going to buy the the Canes jersey, but like I know well, he's yeah. going to get one. Yeah. <laughs> but he needs to make sure it says the Florida Caniac on the back. Like no, yeah. no name plate that has to be his. Yeah, custom. We gotta send it to him. I agree. We gotta let him. I'm we sure. gotta let him know our thoughts. Yeah, I'm sure he's gonna be there. He's definitely gonna be there. Have you shopped at Pure Hockey? They are America's largest hockey retailer with dozens of stores and the option to shop online. If you or any of your kids play hockey, Pure Hockey is the place to find just about all of your equipment, skates, sticks, gear, bags, jerseys, and accessories. Plus, Pure Hockey is one of our affiliate partners. Next time you break your hockey stick or your kid grows out of his skates, why not check out purehockey.com? While you are looking for hockey equipment, you can also browse around for merchandise from your favorite NHL team, you know who Breezy's and mine are, and make gift giving even easier for your hockey loving friends and family. And do us a favor, use our special link for purehockey.com when you browse the site and make a purchase because we'll receive a small commission, which helps me and Breezy create this podcast. Head to the episode's show notes for the special direct link to shop at purehockey.com. Is it time for our hunk of the week nomination? I think it should. Yeah, we got one. Ready? This is all on you, girl. This is all on you. And then I'll read my three lame nominations after. (laughs) Okay. Well, I appreciate everybody who uh, who sent over a submission. Uh, I'm not sure if you're doing it for specifically hunk of the week or if you just want it to be posted on hunks of hockey. Either way, it's okay. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm dreading having to read all of these right now. Not gonna, lie. <laughs> but we're gonna you do shout outs. It was so. easy. You got it. Is, it, it is kind of easy. Yeah. So uh, Joel McAndrew did Jeff Skinner. So Jeff Skinner opened up the scoring with a shot from the slot and Alex Tuck scored off Jeff Skinner's feed just 25 seconds later. So that was, that's kind of sick. Two goals in 25 seconds. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, The next few, we don't have reasons for why they were submitted, but Brianne.l16 Stieglinham 
and Laura Kaner, Meg 21 HN all voted for Chris Crater. So uh, I'm pretty sure he's just got to make it. I mean, if you got four people asking for him, for that's Chris Crater. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, Lisa Saff, Dylan Coughlin, um, Adrian underscore good did Elias Lindholm. So I did a fun fact on Elias Lindholm uh, at 18 years old in 11 days. So 18 years and 11 days old. So like almost to his 19th birthday, right. he was playing in his fourth NHL game and he slipped a soft, soft, wait, slipped a soft shot through traffic to beat Washington Capitals goalie Braden Holpe, making him the youngest player from Sweden to score goal in the NHL, beating out the record of Colorado Avalanche's Gabriel Landeskog by 13 days. That's insane. Pretty I cool. love that stat. Definitely cool. gets a head nod nom over here. Yeah, that's, that's a that's bananas. a good one. Yeah, so that was a, a few years ago because obviously he's not the youngest player in the NHL anymore. But still thought that was a cool fact. Uh, of course, Alma did uh, Timo Meyer, but he's going to be trade bait. So I thought that was good put on there because it looks like the Devils might be number one on the radar for that one, which could be pretty that. cool. Uh, Combe Fair, Brandon Tanev, which goes back to uh, Seattle being fun to watch. Um, Chris, all Tyler's fault, did Christian Wallinen. Did I say that right? Wallinen? Yeah. Uh, he's playing so. for the Canucks org. He's leading the AHL in assist with 42, and he's over a point per game as a defenseman. That's impressive. That is. Yeah. So Babsy Marie, Brad Marshawn, Hooper underscore Julie, Ryan Stillman, Golden Riley Red Girl. Riley. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. I was I was reading down below. Uh, Listen, Alex I don't Newbie. I am not correcting you. I don't know how to say a lot of their names, as you all know, listening, but I it, it the little bit I know, I'll chime in. Well, but speaking carry on, of, you're doing uh, amazing. Uh, of, speaking of hard names, uh Jammy Nam one, Jammy Mam one. Gurgly Tooth, I believe is how it's pronounced. He's playing in Budapest in Hungary. Is that a uh, real you name? Wanna, uh, you might want to click on that that link that I have in there for you. Um, he's going to be nominated as my hunk of the week just based off of his face. Uh, sports Holy chick. Holy shoot, ski. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Breezy. There. there we go. Everyone, gurgly tooth. To- tooth. I think it's. I think it's pronounced tooth. Holy moly. Thank you for bringing that hunk to our attention. Yep. There we go. So sports crazy chick 69, Eric Cernak, uh, Kanga Skira, UC Saros, Saros, Emily Salter, Kirill Kaprizov, uh, Jimmy MPLS. He said Feligno. Uh, That's Minneapolis. it's so yes with M P L S. It's probably Marcus, not Nick. But we'll give an honorable mention to Nick too. Uh, v T Shredder, Miles Wood, Tracy and Dot Morales, seventy seven, Chase DeLeo, our California surfer cowboy. Good head <laughs> nod there. Uh, looks like M N Hockey Mom reads Ryan Hartman. Uh, we haven't heard about Ryan Hartman in a while. We should probably check up on him. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Uh, Maggie underscore B nineteen sixty two TJ Oshi. Hold on, pause LJ. there because I second TJ Oshi because he became a father for the fourth time this week. His wife Lauren Isn't gave birth. Girl? Yep, they had another girl. It's a girl so, dad. nod to Osh from me. Go ahead. Nod to Osh. Okay, so L J Hoy, Patrice Bergeron, let's twenty twenty Adam Henrique, and that's wrapping up. All of the fan submissions. See, it wasn't yes. that bad. No, I had one um, from Dustin, and he is just having a moment for Luch- Luchik, Milan Luchik. Did did, I he that did right? that last week, too. He did. I said, sure hey, he what's the deal with that? He's like, I just am obsessed with him right now. I'm like, okay. So we get an... Hey, an- so I can do Roman, because... <laughs> no. We had a fight um, on Instagram about this, you guys. We did. And then I responded back and then I realized I was under the uh, the podcast account. And I was like, I'm coming at you from both, both accounts. Breezy was hammering me saying that she gets to nominate her ultimate hunk, which we said was off the table for this segment, both hers and mine. And she's freaking in the 
in the comments section nominating Roman Yossi. I'm like, you can't nominate him. Did he do something special? And she's like, he breathed. I was like, no, we he had did. a fight on, on social media. But, and then I said, but he's always doing spectacular things. So it's always a given. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't, Whatever. I don't, don't you put him on that graphic. Okay. But our fight was fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> it was. No, it wasn't a real fight, guys. <laughs> Not like actually mad at Breezy. <laughs> no. I just thought it was funny uh, that we were arguing on uh, in the comments. I know. <laughs> I know. You guys are missing out if you're not following us uh, and the and the House of Hockey podcast on social media. But my nominations, aside from Oshi, are Tyler Toffoli. He played in his seventh seven hundredth game this week, and Alexander Barkov for replacing Austin Matthews in the All Star game. I've given it to Alexander Barkov all day this week because you all know how I feel and. I'm happy he's going to the all-star game. Perfect. You know how I feel about Matthews. I do. I do know how you feel about Matthews. Do we need so to you're... nominate Tockett, Rick Tockett? I mean, because he can. took over for Boudreaux. No. And he's coaching and he's, no. I mean, he's pretty hunky. I mean, we could, but I think that there's others that are, are deserving of it. All right. Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and say that, that, uh, Gurgly Toth is is getting my my vote here. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Matt Berlin. Got to give it to Matt Berlin. I'm sorry. That's 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 oh, pretty yeah. sick. Um, I forgot about that. Even I think those are gonna be my it. two. I think those are gonna be my two. All right. Well, I'm going with Barkov and I think we gotta give it to Skinner. For that sick goal off the yeah. off the face off, that was just unreal. So yeah, there we go. Those okay, are the hunks of the week. So Barkov, Skinner, Gurley Tooth. <laughs> I just kind of like saying his name. Actually, <laughs> it's a real and, name, uh, everybody. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll give it to to Matt Berlin. Solid, yeah, solid picks. Solid if picks. We do say ourselves. Yes. That's all I got. I'm just trying to recover from my extremely weird week. Over a week. There you go. Yep. Cool. Anything else? Well, Off anything uh, uh, non hockey related? Have you been barbecuing? That's been on my no, mind. I have not. I feel like you're. You gotta get back to it. I feel like I'm losing my identity a little bit. Not gonna lie. I mean, we got you back into, you've been to see some hockey games. <clears throat> mm-hmm. We got you back re-energized there. You're back yeah. with the hunks. I'm living for your captions every day. I love Thank what you. you do. I am Thank like, you. I missed it. I didn't realize how much I missed it. I giggle every time. Good. Uh, we got, just got to get you back into the meats. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be or the doing, nuts. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to be making some uh, stuff for I'm going to a Super Bowl party. So I have okay. uh, I'm going to I have a smoker here. We just it's been so cold and I shouldn't be saying that to you. Um, but it's OK. I, I like the cold. Yeah, but I um, it's been a little tough to get out there. Plus, um, the dinners that I, I usually cook every night for for the fam uh, are not really uh, smoker friendly. So it will be oh. coming out soon. Um, I was going to say one thing about the. Uh, the hunks though hunks yeah. of hockey it is so fun to do and and i don't care about the the likes or or the follows anything like that it's the comments that get me because <laughs> if you're going to do anything on that page please just comment or just dm and just be funny cuz we've yeah. i've had some very funny people just message me and the, <laughs> the coolest thing about that account is one we just get to make post random ridiculous things but you make I, i've made friends everywhere that's how we met yeah and it's funny because like these people like i can just talk to whoever i want to talk to and it, it's just we're just talking about hockey players and it's just really funny and some of these people that are saying some of these things they're so funny they are so funny <laughs> but but okay. i feel like they're like my my friends that i'm like talking to because it's like those are like the kinds of like conversations we're having so um if you're gonna do anything just leave comments 
be nice though, because I will turn comments off if you're going to be bullying each other in the comment section. If you don't like a post, then don't like it. Don't comment. Just move on. Um, but it's so fun. So if you have any uh, pictures that you like, please keep sending them or any funny pickup lines that you want me to use, please send them because um, it's a good time. It's funny. <laughs> Thanks for coming over to our House of Hockey podcast and hanging out with us. We'll be back next week with a brand new episode. And in the meantime, you can follow us on social media. Just look for House of Hockey podcast. We'll be back next week.